Hello, I'm Kim. Um, this is a monthly reset video. It's a little extra video that I do every month to reset the month and to review how things went in the previous month. And I cover notes, 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 notes. I cover goals, budget and sales. I know this because it says so right here. Right, this is gonna be a bit of a rushed one. Um, I don't have much time today. That's why we're at my business end of the um, office. The other end of the office is usually where I do um, chats and stitch and stuff. But here we're at the desk end where I tap away at my computer. Anywho, let's review goals for November. How did I do? <laughs> so I had three. Um, what did I say? Uh, I needed to add items to the shop, which I did. I added some um, hats and gloves to the shop uh, as a kind of a test. I was all inspired by one of my recent videos where I was talking about my um, my business journey and, and just reviewing the stuff that I've made over the years. Uh, it kind of, it made me want to dip my toe back into clothing, but obviously not making from scratch. So I have been embroidering um, sort of beanie hats and, and gloves, which is, uh, a, <laughs> gloves are tricky, but I, I, I digress. My point is, is that I've, I've added some new bits to the shop. So check, yes, got that one off the list, pat on the back for me. Decided whether or not I wanted to do a Black Friday sale. I was flip-flopping about this all over the place. Um, I kind of wanted to do one, but I ended up not doing one because when I sat down and crunched the numbers, the numbers did not crunch, <laughs> at least not to my liking. Uh, I already offer a 10% discount to mailing list subscribers and I can't offer more than that. So in the end, I just promoted the, the mailing list. <laughs> <laughs> there was a discount to be had, but it's all year round. And as I say, you have to be a mailing list subscriber to, to get it, so. Anywho, so I made the decision, another pat on the back for me. You can see that I'm building up to something here. The other one, and this was the big one, was to finish and launch the course. No, <laughs> I did not do that. It's not even finished, let alone launched. It's very close though, and it's kind of been, growing as I've been doing other things. I've been going back to what I had finished and tweaking it and it's it's just, I'm having to leave it alone. Um, the nerves are starting to kick in. I want to sort of pack it with um, information but you also don't want to pack it too much in case it becomes overwhelming and noise. But I can at least explain to you what I'm going to make the course on now and that is going to be, it's, it's basically going to be around how to identify and find and speak to your ideal customer and essentially how to keep them front and center in your mind whenever you're uh, promoting your business and, and, and how that can look. I'm trying to make it a bit more actionable I guess is the word that I'm looking for. I, w I want people to have something to actually do so that they can watch the video content but actually think right I can apply this in this way and I will talk more about it in the future I don't want to sort of make this video all about the course but I've been a bit secret squirrel with it lately and I just wanted to come on here and say this is what it's going to be about because a few people have asked me if it was going to be about Etsy and it, it's just no <laughs> I, I do personally think this is more important than just Etsy based because you do it always comes back to who your customer is i'm digressing again moving on to my goal for december it's just that finish the course finish the course and i think for me that is going to be um reining myself in and not letting myself constantly tweak things at some point i need to let it go i can tweak it again in future if need be but it's never going to get finished if i just keep tweaking it and tinkering. So I need to I need to stop myself from doing that. Okay, let's move on to the budget. I have been so good, so good. I'm so proud of myself, except it doesn't feel like I've been good because obviously we're coming up to Christmas time. And while I've been so frugal and only spending what I absolutely need to in the business, of course, I've been spending so much money in my personal life for presents of, for the family and stuff. So, <laughs> I actually sat down thinking, oh my God, I've spent so much money this month. And I looked back at my business expenses and thought, no, I've done really, really well. Um, the only thing I've really bought have been um, some packaging supplies. I was running low, so I had to sort of restock those. I've been a good little business person and made sure that my stock is up to date. Um, I do stock takes each month, which um, 
consider I never used to do because I'm such a small business I just used to eyeball all of my stock but earlier this year I did make a bit of a clangor um, I had to take down some of my listings for a large chunk of the month because I had run out of a um, uh, the, the stabiliser that I print some of my designs on. It's kind of important. <laughs> I can't send out any of those uh, stick and stitch patches without it so I had to order some in and it did mean that there's there were a couple of weeks where there were no stick and stitch patches to be had in my shops. So since then I have made sure that I have done monthly stock takes of everything just to make sure and it seems to have also had the knock-on effect of helping me budget. So I am very very grateful for that and I will be continuing to do that going forward. Okay, um, and sales. Sales for November. Let's go through. Who won out? Was it Etsy or was it my Shopify website that won? Well, it depends what your goal is. Etsy won out in terms of sales. My Shopify website won out in terms of revenue and profit. That's the word. <laughs> Profit is the important one. The reason being I've sold more digital items in my Etsy shop and the digital items are, I have to say it very slowly, otherwise I trip over the word, digital. They're smaller ticket, so um, although I can sell more of them, I don't make as much from them. No problem with that, but it, that's kind of why um, Etsy won in terms of sales, I think, because I saw a little kind of influx of the digital products that I have there. I don't have many. One thing I have noticed though, both on Etsy and um, in Shopify, is that sales are down. It's tricky with my website because I didn't have it this time last year. I think I started it in March, so I don't have anything to compare it with just yet. But even so, if you could have totaled up my sales from my website and from Etsy, bundled them all together um, on, it, say, just Etsy, it was still lower than my Etsy sales from November last year. That seems to be an ongoing trend that I've noticed since maybe late August. I've noticed um, sales slowly starting to decrease. Um, I think that's hugely down to the economic crisis that we are in currently. The sales are still coming in. I'm not concerned. I'm not overly concerned, <laughs> would probably be more accurate. Um, I do hope it picks up soon, but again, we're just gonna have to wait and see because while people are having to choose between um, the essentials and, you know, obviously Christmas is an expensive time. Yeah, it, it's it's gonna happen. It's It's to be expected and I'm doing okay. Long may that last. Touch. Wood. So that is how November went and get moving into December I'm I'm going to be taking my foot off the pedal in terms of um, products in both shops and what have you because obviously we're coming up to the holiday season and I'm going to have a holiday. I know. Shocking. But it's true. <laughs> but I need to get the course finished. Basically I need to take my own advice. I'm, I'm constantly rocking up here and saying done is better than perfect. You have to let things go so that you can grow and it might be the stepping stone to the next big thing. Well, now I've got to take my own advice and I don't like it. Thank you for joining me for this little uh, reset video. I hope your November went well. I hope your December goes very well. I would be interested to know, have you noticed anything similar in terms of sales? Have you noticed like a... Um, still sales coming in but maybe slowing down a little bit or has it been the complete opposite and it's just going through the roof and if that is you then don't forget to have a rest see what i mean i'm so much better at giving out advice than taking it and i keep kicking the tripod so i'm gonna go now <laughs> see you next time